So today we're talking about Google Cloud Web Hosting. And while I build this blog in the background, I'm gonna walk you through what it is, who it's for, and whether or not it's actually the best choice if you're starting a small business website, a WordPress blog, or really any kind of site. Since you're watching me put this site together right now, it's the perfect time to go over this because the hosting you pick has a much bigger impact on your site's success than most people realize. So Google Cloud Web Hosting is part of Google Cloud Platform, which is basically Google's network of insanely powerful servers that companies can use to run websites, apps, and all kinds of online tools. And just knowing that Google is behind it, obviously that makes people curious, because it's Google, you automatically assume it must be the best. And for some companies, it probably is. Huge apps, massive companies with millions of visitors, they need that kind of power and flexibility. But here's the thing, Google Cloud hosting isn't really built for beginners. It's not like signing up with a regular web host where you just pick a plan and start building your site. With Google Cloud, you're kind of building your own custom hosting environment from scratch. You're in charge of setting up the server, making sure your website files are in the right place, configuring things like backups, security, and even performance tweaks. And unless you know exactly what you're doing or you wanna spend hours learning, it's overwhelming for most beginners, even if you're just trying to launch a basic website or blog. That's why for most small businesses, bloggers, or anyone who just wants to get online quickly without a bunch of technical headaches, a traditional web host is almost always a better fit. With companies like Bluehost, all that behind the scenes work is handled for you. You sign up, you pick your domain name, and they literally walk you through installing WordPress and launching your site step by step. You don't have to touch the technical side at all unless you want to. That's actually a big reason Bluehost has been around for over 20 years and they're officially recommended by WordPress itself. They're not just one of the biggest hosting companies, they're also one of the easiest to use, especially if you're starting your first site. And if you do end up needing help with anything, Bluehost has 24 seven support, which, trust me, is a lifesaver when something goes wrong at 2 a.m. and you have no idea how to fix it. If you wanna grab over 80% off your hosting, I've got a special Bluehost coupon code linked down in the description. You don't even need to enter anything manually, just click the link and the discount gets applied automatically when you check out. It's probably one of the easiest ways to save money when you're just getting started. Now, if you're curious about other options, SiteGround is another popular choice, especially if you care about speed, and HostGator has some pretty cheap starter plans if you're really trying to keep your costs low. But for most people, especially if you're building a WordPress site, Bluehost really nails that balance between price, ease of use, and reliability which is why they've stayed so popular for so long. So if you're thinking about launching your own site, whether it's a blog, a business website, or even a simple personal site, definitely check out that discount link in the description before you forget. And if you wanna see exactly how to build your site from start to finish, I'll leave a link in the comments to my step-by-step -step tutorial so you can follow along. All right, thanks for hanging out while I build this site. Hopefully this cleared up how Google Cloud Hosting works, who it's actually for, and why it's not always the best choice if you're just trying to get your site online without all the hassle. See you in the next one.